Today, we will be discussing acceptance and commitment therapy, also known as ACT. ACT is an action-oriented, empirically-based treatment that stems from cognitive behavioral therapy and traditional behavior therapy. ACT is a form of cognitive behavioral therapy that promotes mindfulness, which is the awareness of thoughts, emotions, and the present moment. ACT is generally a short-term treatment lasting between 10 and 15 sessions. ACT is built upon the idea that language gives rise to both human achievement and human misery. We use language to think about our experience of the physical world. The way we use language to think about our experience is related to our emotional responses, and those emotional responses have a relationship with how we behave in the world. In this way, everything is connected to everything. So, according to ACT, both internal and external factors must be considered when thinking about behavior. Acceptance and commitment therapy has been found to be effective in children and adolescents, as well as adults. ACT is beneficial for a large variety of target conditions, including both mental disorders and health conditions. Some intervention targets that ACT has been deemed effective for include depression, anxiety, substance use, chronic pain, eating disorders, psychosis, stress, and somatic complaints. Multiple meta-analyses have shown that ACT is generally superior to inactive controls such as waitlist and placebos, treatment as usual, and most active intervention conditions. A large body of literature supports the efficacy of ACT, producing treatment outcomes that are comparable to CBT-based programs. Many clients who seek ACT for treatment see significant improvements in their symptom severity and overall quality of life. These improvements are often long-lasting, helping the client continue to move towards their values long after the therapeutic process ends. So now that you know what ACT is and who it's for, how does this look in therapy? ACT is all about mindful experience. The bulk of every session in ACT is comprised of metaphors and experiential exercises that are used to help the client understand and apply the concepts that are introduced in session. Many of the exercises are centered around mindfulness. It begins and ends every session and is everywhere in between. Lastly, the sessions are structured around the hexaflex of psychological flexibility. So what is psychological flexibility? This is the ability to respond to the present moment without relying on rigid, unhelpful rules to dictate our behavior. The hexaflex is comprised of six components. The first component is acceptance, which refers to the ability to create space for unwanted private events and allow them to be present. The second component is diffusion, which is the ability to take our thoughts less literally and to view them simply as thoughts, feelings, or experiences that are momentarily passing through our awareness. The third component is mindfulness, which is the ability to bring your attention to the present moment through our senses and to do so without judgment. The fourth component is self as context, which refers to the process of developing an alternate perspective of the self and simply becoming an observer of our stories or the descriptions we hold about ourselves. The fifth component is values, which is designed to lead clients to discover what is important to them and to lead them towards change. The sixth and last component is committed action, which are the concrete steps that the client takes to move towards living the life that is in line with their values. We will finish this video by noting that the number one goal of ACT is to work towards psychological flexibility through workable, value-oriented action and mindfulness. It's not about whether our thoughts, feelings, or behaviors are right or wrong or true or false. It's about what's going to be workable and will help guide us towards the things that we value in life.